my name is Jamila and this is my life in LA. What's up vlog? It is currently Tuesday afternoon, 4.52 p.m. I did a bunch of errands today that I've been pushing off for a while now, like going to the bank to do some account stuff, returning my Amazon stuff, returning my Target stuff. So then I came back, um, I got a little hungry, so I made a little snack. It is just turkey breast um, wrapped with mozzarella, like fresh mozzarella and a piece of basil leaf, and then with balsamic vinegar or glaze drizzled on top, and it's so good. My schedule has been so whack lately. I don't know why, but I've been staying up until like 3.30 a.m. watching stuff on YouTube, and then I wake up at like 11 a.m. or 10 a.m., and it's been really bad. Like whenever I'm at home, I just can't focus, and I just don't want to do anything for some reason. So today, it was really good that I did errands because I went to a coffee shop to do some work after and now I feel so like rejuvenated like I'm feeling like I want to be productive I also need to be productive because there's things that I need to do for work if you are like at home and you're not being productive this is your sign to just go out I'm so excited we have some packages to unbox is this just me? oh is it just me or do you guys also kind of just wait for your packages to come together and you do it together because it just feels so satisfying like oh my god so many things let me grab my scissors i don't really own a pair of like big scissors for packages so these little scissors literally gets me through everything it's probably not the most sanitary but i cut my packages and my lashes with them but yeah first one we have is sephora so i have a friend who gave me a friend and family discount for 20% off so I was like perfect this is the stuff that my sister-in-law got she got like a candle a mini one a big candle and then just some makeup stuff Vicky and I got Sharon the Joan Jo Malone um, perfume this is the Neckery Blossom and Honey it's actually funny because me and Sharon actually had gotten Vicky this exact same perfume and Sharon really liked the scent the two times that she tried it I think so they could smell one and the same I got a refill of my Brio Geo conditioner I love this conditioner so much when I had long hair it just like detangles my hair so easily and not to mention like I can't really smell it, it's just a seal but it smells amazing like so good then I actually got a new perfume. I got the Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. And it's really sweet. I never thought I would like it. But I just, something about it is just like really appealing to me. And the last thing I got. Oh my god. Oh, so that's why they put it in the plastic wrap. Um, last thing I got is this Bumble and Bumble shampoo but i got this shampoo because i'm running out of mine and i heard good reviews about it this is a weekly clarifying shampoo and it was on sale for i think like 20 percent off and i had an extra 20 percent off so i was like okay might as well try it so this next one i'm really excited about is from olive young from asmr so i ordered olive young because i wanted their sunscreen um this is the beauty of Sun sunscreen I heard really good things about it and I love buying things from Olive Young because it's always like one plus one. I think this is the eyebrow pencil that I've been using but I just got two eyebrow pencil um, because I'm running out. And then I also just got a refill of the Clio Kill Lash Superproof Mascara. I really like this mascara. Um, and yeah, one plus one. This is Round Lab. I need a new moisturizer that's a little bit lighter on my skin because the one right now I have is a ceramide cream and it's really thick, especially for like LA weather. So I just want something lighter. It looks very watery based, which I like. And it came up a little travel size version. See, I'm telling you, like Korea, they just know like you need travel, so they'll give you a travel size version. Like I love it. Oh, whoa, it's like this. Okay, this next one is very not that exciting at all. It's just one that I haven't really opened. Oh my god, why is everything just spilling? This is just supposed to be my stain remover, but the cap completely loosened and spilled. This really last package is also really exciting. It's not beauty or anything, it's actually clothes. So, as you have seen from my vlogs, I've been very much into skirts and boots or dresses with boots. So I just decided to buy some new clothes and I actually haven't bought 
really like a lot of new clothes if any since i came back from korea back in april so this is my justification of buying more clothes so this is just an order from shein okay first this sweater this sweater is so cute i'm gonna pull this girl it's so cute it's kind of like this sweetheart neckline and it's actually so thick like it's not itchy or anything it feels like really good material so this is a keep for sure skirt is a little too long like this is giving me flashbacks to when i was in my frat and we had to wear these kind of like business skirts second combination um shirts also better material than i thought i don't know i feel like because i bought shein a couple years ago and the material this one wasn't as nice it felt more flimsy but i think now they have like more money to invest in better materials so i really like the top top is keeping for sure this is actually supposed to be like a, a pair of shorts, but it's too big on me. Like, look at how big, can you see? Like, that's very big on me. And even if it was, it was like smaller, I don't think I really like it. Because I have really, really short legs, so this just make me look very like stunted. Okay, crisscross top also is not as thick as the other two that I tried, but still really nice material. I honestly didn't know how I feel about this because I never had a crisscross top before. I didn't know like, if I look good in it, because I don't really look good in halter, but I'm really liking it. It's really cute. Pants wise, again, it's a little bit big, but also just not really loving it on me. I just don't think pants, like shorts, really look good on me because I have pretty short legs. So I feel like it just looks very like stunted. I know this totally doesn't match, but this is a little like cardigan thing. I think it's really, really cute, but I'm not sure if I'll keep it because I got something else that was kind of similar. I don't know if I need two, but it's very thick and cozy. Okay guys, I can see why this set has such a high ra high ratings, but it's like a tube top and then mixed with this like short little cardigan thing. It's so cute. Oh my god. Look at how cute that is. You can't really, I really like black in case you guys couldn't tell. Okay, this dress is kind of giving me like a little bit like prep or homeschool girl vibes, but I'm not hating it. Like it's kind of cute. Oh, fuck, I've been zip this up. This is why I need a boyfriend. So I know I said I don't hate it at first, like I kind of like it, but the more I look at it, the more I don't like it. This is for sure a return. Um, first of all, this is so hard to get on. Oh, actually, oh, okay. Honestly, I wasn't feeling it at first when I was like putting it on, but I'm kind of feeling it now. And then I'll just pull this up a little bit. I'll like pull it up to here, probably. And I'll just wear a pair of boots. And it snatches you. Okay. I feel like trying on clothes is an exercise in itself because homegirl is lightly sweating, which is kind of gross to admit in a long sleeve thing right now. But don't worry, I'm keeping this, so this is not returning back to anyone. Okay, this next shirt, also, this is just a dress, by the way. I didn't have another bottom to change to. This shirt got super high reviews. And, whoa, this is long. Obviously does not look good with the sleeves dangling. I have another white dress shirt that I really, really like to wear like this, but then I washed it with my new gray sheets. So it got a little stained. So this is like now a muted gray white. Okay, y'all, so that's everything of my haul. That went a lot longer than expected, but I think I'm keeping about half of the things and returning the other half. So yeah, it's a pretty successful haul, in my opinion. I did not get anything color. Obviously, this is the only color I have, but... You know, I just really like wearing black, okay? It's just a really nice... Like, it looks good on me, I guess. The aftermath. I was really, really craving some kiwis, especially, and I... We only have two forks in the house and we ran out both of them, so I'm using a chopstick. Anyways, I'm gonna end my night here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. The morning vlog. I just woke up, and it's 10 a.m. I said that morning voice. Um, Right now, I'm just gonna go take some laundry to do. A big pile of laundry waiting for me. Let's go. Check in the stairwell check. Top is just like a v-neck from um, Hollister. These are my Zara trousers. 
Um, this cloth blouse thing is from Korea, and I'm just matching on some basic white sneakers. And right now, I'm gonna go to the UPS to return some Shein stuff. I love returning some UPS because they just give you a QR code, and you don't have to print out anything. And then afterwards, I'm gonna meet up with Hannah for lunch. Oh my god, you guys. Um, I actually timed everything perfectly. Like, I'll have made it to meet up with Hannah on time. But then I went to the wrong UPS store. And it was one that was like on the opposite way of where I was supposed to go. So I had to uh, take the bus back really quick, drop things off, and now walk um, over to Hannah. Which is really quick. It's like a five minute walk. But that was such a journey. But I just want to tell you guys, I literally timed it perfectly. It's just that I messed up. Look who I'm here with. <laughs> I know. First New York, now LA. Maybe next SF. Oh, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Hello, vlog. So I'm currently at Open Market with Hannah. <laughs> I'm like already calling my name, I can't hear. And it's really cute. They have like a whole ass wine section back there. And then this place is known for their sandwiches. Yeah, I'm just waiting for mine. Yeah, I got the third treat, so Posada. when I was on my way to try all the blue coffee but I stopped by here I was like oh this is a cute place and it's called Cafe Moe Cafe Moe they're really known for the black sesame latte but I didn't get it because I thought it was too heavy so I got a snow capped um, cold brew with injomi uh, injomi on top is like the soybean powder and she said to mix it in before I drink it why am I not making a mess? What's up vlog? So I'm back home. I was so productive at the cafe and I really like the cafe I went to. It's not the most aesthetic place ever, but first of all, the drinks are so good. I really like the Americano that I got yesterday. And then today I got the snow cap co-brew with the soybean powder. It was amazing. Like, um, it wasn't too sweet, and just that cream with that powder just tasted so good, especially when it started to dry up a little bit towards the end of my drink. It was a little bit harder. It was just, it was amazing. So you guys are in K-Town. Highly recommend checking that place out. Also, lunch with Hannah. That place was really good. It what I got was like an almost like an Asian infused. Asian infused, Asian fusion sandwich. So it wasn't like really any sandwiches that I have before, but it was like pretty expensive. It was like $18 for that meal. So I got these new bowls from Amazon because I want a bigger bowl for my salad. And I'm opening it in the bathroom because the only pair of scissors are in the bathroom. But look at how cute, it's a smile. And these bowls are apparently like unbreakable. I thought, oh, these are plastic. I thought they were like ceramic for some reason. Wait, these are not plastic. These are wheat straw fiber. But on another note, how look how cute all these colors are. You have a purple one, this like beige one, a blue one, a pink one, and kind of like a gray one, and a green one. They're so cute. Okay, see, now that I've meal prepped everything in its own glassware and stuff, it's gonna be so easy for me to assemble my salad. So I'm also very glad I got new salad bowls because I was eating a salad out of this, straight out of this. This is like a fruit washing kind of bowl. And then there's some rotisserie chicken that I got from Ralph's the other day. I also like to add lime to my salad. Good morning vlog! Today is Thursday, but it feels like an absolutely Friday. Wait, it feels, it absolutely feels like a Friday. Anyways, what my point is, is it feels like a Friday. I, I don't know why. This morning, I tried to make myself an omelette, 
but that didn't work out so well. So it kind of turned into a scramble. So in this omelet slash scramble, I just have, I put one egg in and I filled it with egg whites. I have some bell peppers, spinach. I added a little bit of ham and then very unmelted cheese right there. And then I just drizzled some um, Tabasco on top. And while I was cooking it, I put in some sesame oil, soy sauce, and peppercorn. It may not look very appetizing, but it sure tastes just like a scramble slash omelet. Um, so I got dressed to go to the gym, but then I didn't. I actually took a nap instead. Then I FaceTimed Sharon and Vicky because I was feeling like very off. And I figured it out because I had a really bad dream. Um, so yeah, now I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make some food while I'm FaceTiming Vicky and hopefully make my way to the gym. <laughs> What's up, Doug? Whoa. Um, so yeah, I was just like really not feeling it like I told you guys earlier, but I just gymmed, had a great session. It wasn't like super killer. It was just one of those kind of quick and easy sessions. And now I'm just gonna shower. Um, really in need of a shower. I kind of look, I look crazy. Vlog. I'm currently here at a rooftop party. Tailing up my face. Yeah, my mom is a coat Hello vlog, we're currently back at my apartment. Hi um, everyone. No, 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 our apartment. Our apartment. <laughs> Hello after hour, our happy hour. hour. This is my personal vlog. Can you get oh. stop. What the hell? <laughs> hey. <laughs> the lime! Yeah, we're in a public yeah, the lime! I still see the flesh. Wait, you want me to eat the skin? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I will throw up if I eat the skin. Yeah, don't eat the skin. Don't eat the skin. Happy time! <laughs> this is not real. This looks so good! Does it look good? The next day. currently like 5 p.m. and I am going to unbox my new curler. So I've been kind of struggling with how I want to style my hair because I just feel like straight right now just doesn't look the best. And I just curled it once for head in the clouds with this short hair and I really liked it. So then I just thought how about I invest in a curler. I haven't owned a curler since like middle school i think i got it from amazon it's called be kind apex and basically i got this specific one because uh, i got this because first of all it's pink like, so i got i actually didn't even get a curler i got a straightener over here but it just that it like um works also as a curler so then I just thought this would be useful because it's a two-in-one kind of thing. But look at how much stuff it came with. So it came with some bobby pins. This is a hair tie. Oh, some clips. I actually needed this clip. I actually really want these clips. And then I think this is a heat protectant kind of thing. Ooh, a lot of hair ties. Ooh, a comb and a heat protectant glove. I also got heat protectant spray because got protect my hair. This is just the most popular one on Amazon, but the review said that when they sprayed it or be careful with it because if it's on the ground, it becomes a slippery mess. So I'm gonna do it over the sink. I like hear a sizzle with my hair and I don't know if that's normal. Is it because my hair is wet? Okay, with a long curl over here. I curled the wrong way. I don't really know how to do my front pieces, so it looks really not that great. Anyways, that was what I spent the last three minutes doing, and I absolutely hate it. 